Hi, in my last video, I talked about foreboding gut feelings. In this video, I want to talk about the more conscious feeling we get or the actually our, it's more than our intuition, it's our knowledge, our conscious knowledge. I don't want to save you, don't want to be strangers, let me feel like you know what to do. Your limitations live and go against them Just like go and start up something new Cause I know, I know, I know that what you planned out Everything that you built up isn't what you want And I know, I know, I know the life you're living Isn't that fulfilling, let me help you out I talked about last time how, you know, sometimes a feeling can tell us that you know, something's not right about this situation and we can't quite put our finger on it. And I guessed that that might be our subconscious saying, hey, you don't remember, but we've been through a similar thing or we've met a similar person. Don't, don't trust this. And we also can get a good feeling about something. I think, um, and I think that's when everything it's, it's just right okay and maybe it's not the perfect situation maybe it doesn't even make any sense but you're giddy over it you're it, it is it is you know that it's the right thing right i mean usually people go ahead and do stuff when they're excited about something and it tends to work out i think they make it work and what I'm trying to say here is I think we need to trust not only our gut, but our knowledge and, and trust our dreams. If you really want something, if something does give you this giddy feeling like, oh, that is what I want to do, then uh, you're, you're going to make it work because it's exciting to you. It's it's, it's something that, that just really makes you happy for whatever reason. I think you should listen to that. And I think you should also give yourself some credit for being able to, to discern this other thing over here that, that everybody says is right for me and that looks right for me, that looks perfect. It is not. If it doesn't, if you, if it, it, you know, there are situations where it's like, you know, I sh there's no reason why I shouldn't want to do this. There's no reason why this shouldn't work out. Every, all the pieces fit nice and neatly and perfectly in the puzzle that is my life. But there's something not right about it. You don't feel good about it. Now, I think a couple of videos ago, I said that, you know, negative thoughts and feelings were just bad opinions. I'm not talking about negative thinking. I'm not talking about low self-esteem. I am talking about there's this job over here that pays more, that is where you want to live that is uh, everything, it looks good on paper, but you feel like there's something wrong with it. You don't have a good feeling about signing on the dotted line and going to the new place. Then I would strongly suggest that you not do it. And I think as we get older, you know, I think we still can have those foreboding feelings, but I think that the more experiences we have, the more we can um, also trust ourselves with our conscious knowledge and be like, okay, this person reminds me a lot 
these over people people over here that I've known before who have similar behavior to this person. And you want to think to yourself, well, but this person isn't those people. Um, I need to give them the benefit of the doubt. I don't know them. I just met them. There was a friend that I had for a little while who I had that feeling about, only it wasn't a gut feeling. It was a, you know, it was conscious. I, I could name the reason that I had kind of a, I don't know about this feeling. I had a friend, we'll call him Joe. I used to do community theater, not so much anymore, but I used to do that and uh, quite regularly. And uh, so I met this Joe guy through a show that we were doing. He invited me over um, after a rehearsal. I, I'm like, okay, sure. And I go over to his house and he is showing me around and talking about stuff and the more I see and the more he's just, I mean, he's not talking about anything in particular. I don't remember what he talked about. Um, it wasn't really so much what he was saying. It was his behavior the whole time. He reminded me Everything seemed pretty chaotic and his mannerisms and just <clears throat> his energy started make, reminding me of some other people that I do, that I have in the past tended to gravitate toward or they gravitated toward me. There were at least two or three others like this person and <sighs> The, you know, the chaotic life, the, you know, I'm not really sure they're being totally honest with me, you know. I mean, I had been through it three other times in my life. One was even in grade school. This person, they were, <laughs> and, uh. by the time I met Joe in my 30s, I was like, oh, we need to watch this one. I mean, we'll give him a chance, but pretty similar behavior. And guess what? And I'm, I'm not going to go into the specifics. I don't feel right about doing that. But it did turn out to be that he was someone I could not trust. So throughout that time, I was careful, a little guarded, and I'm glad. So give yourself credit for what you know. If somebody has the red flags, if they're doing a lot of the similar behaviors as other people in your past who were not great to you, don't just tell yourself, oh, well, but Joe isn't this guy. No. Say, because here's, here's something, if you don't already know this, there are, even though everyone's <laughs> a little different, the basics are the same. Typically, there's typical behaviors of certain types of people. I've had people say, talk to me about how honest they are. I had two of those people talk to me about how honest they were. Well, if you're honest, you don't need to tell me that. Why do you keep trying to emphasize how honest you are? Why are you trying to convince me? Listen to what they're telling you. Really listen. Watch them tell you. See if what they're telling you fits what you know to be true about them and about how that sort of thing they're talking about typically goes down. Trust your unconscious 
knowledge and your conscious knowledge when dealing with people, places, and situations. Keep your eyes, ears, all your senses open. Listen, listen, listen to what your brain and body, you know, because your weird feeling is trying to tell you. If your brain is like, ah, red flag, red flag, then don't, don't ignore it. Don't ever ignore it. Trust yourself. You've been through stuff before. You have knowledge. Use it to protect yourself and be good to yourself. Thank mm -hmm. you.